Hi guys, welcome to Verbling. My name is Joe, and today we're going to work on improving our pronunciation by reading a few articles. Uh, the titles of the articles, or the topics of the articles, are about selfies, a museum dedicated to selfies in London, projection mapping, and a 1.8 million year old skull. So, uh, hopefully you'll be joining us today. We have eight reservations, which means there's only one non-reservation spot open. So if you don't have a reservation, but you'd like to join, go ahead and click join class now, and you can grab that spot. Otherwise, you can listen, and listen to the class as we read the articles, and discuss the topics, and improve our pronunciation. Hello, Nude. Hello. How are you? Thank, thank you. And you? I'm good. Can thanks. you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Okay. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Well. Wow. No, that's okay. Okay. All right. Um. So a little bit about me while we're waiting for some people to join. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona, and I live, right now, I'm living in Buenos Aires, Argentina, because I also love languages, just like you guys, and I'm here to improve my Spanish. So I'm here, I've been here for three months. And I'll be here until the first week of December, and I'm studying at the university. So I'm doing a semester abroad, as we call it. Um, yeah, and what else? Let's see, I'm also learning Portuguese right now. I'm not, um, but at the university, I'm going to. Oh, you're back. Can you hear me? Yes. Ah, okay, how are you? Good, how are you? Thanks, thanks, thank you. Good. Uh, Mario, are you there? Are you? How are you? Good, how are you doing? Long time no see. Yes, long time no see. I'm great. Good. What about you? I'm doing I'm doing great. Um it's a nice day out today, so I think after the yeah. class I'm gonna go out and hang out with some friends at the park. And yeah, so yeah. it's it's a nice day. What what are you visiting your um, what am I? What? What time is it? Uh, ah, what time is it? So where I am, it is um, fifteen o three. Well, actually three o three in the afternoon. Yeah. So it's mm. afternoon. What about where you guys are from? What time is it? Eight. Eight uh, p.m. for me. Eight. Eight p.m. Okay. Noore. Uh, uh, nine, uh, 9 o'clock p.m. 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. Okay, and where are yeah. you from today? I am from Turkey. From Turkey, okay. Yeah. Yes. And Mario, you're from France. the Dominican. No. <laughs> yes, <laughs> France. Okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was going to say the Dominican Republic. Yeah, no. It's, yeah, no, France. But okay, okay. But my home country is not very far. Where, where's your home country? Uh, French, uh, Guyana. Ah, yes, yeah. that's true. It is not far from the Dominican Republic, so I was close. Yeah. Close. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What and were you going to say today? Uh, uh, sorry, uh, Joe, are you a student? I am a student at the university. I am studying. Uh, Graphic design, oh, film, oh. and languages. Oh, super! Yeah, yeah, yeah. nice. Yeah, so I'm really liking yeah, it. Nice. Yeah. yeah, I have about two years left. Uh -huh. Um, okay. So, just a quick question: Did both of you guys make reservations for this class, or did you join? Yes, I did. Yeah. Okay. Nure, did you? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Um, 
Well, it's been five minutes. Nobody's joined. I started the class like right at about um, three o'clock. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if they're going to show up, but we'll go ahead and get started um, so we can take advantage of all the time that we have. Okay, so um, I'm, since you guys made reservations, I'm guessing you read the class description um, or you saw that it was on pronunciation. So what we're going to be doing is taking a look at these articles. We probably won't finish all three of them, um, but you guys can choose which one we start with. And what we'll be doing is we'll be reading them together. And while one person is reading, the rest of us will be listening for words that he or she may uh, print may have pronounced incorrectly and that, can, that he or she can improve um, and then we'll also be defining words that you guys have questions about. So um, we'll go ahead and get started right now. Which article would you guys like to start with? Uh, uh, sorry Joe, can you put uh, the three article um, in the chat because I forgot to... Yeah, yeah, of course. So let me just post them in the chat. Welcome, Sama. Good, how are you? Sama, is there any way that you could either move your microphone closer to your face or if you could turn up the volume because it, it sound it's kind of hard to hear you. It sounds like you're. Oh, way better. Yes, thank you. Way better. Okay, so um, I've posted the links to the three articles in the Verbling chat. So if you look over there, you should see them. Um, but I'll I'll also open up the articles on my screen so that you guys can look there as well. Um, so which article should we start with? Oh. Any preferences? Sorry, maybe we can can read uh, about the skull, the old skull. Okay, yeah, I think that one will have some a, a lot of new words for for us to learn. So yeah, let's start with that article. Um, so it's the third link in the Verbling chat. So go ahead and open that up if you'd like. Otherwise, I'll share my screen right now and you'll be able to look at it there. Okay. Okay, uh-huh. So, yes. this article is titled 1.8 million year old skull gives glimpse of our evolution. Alright. Who oh, glimpse? Glimpse. Um, question about that word? Glimpse. So what does the word glimpse mean? Does anybody know? Glimpse. Check it out. Or I have an idea. Skull, gaze, glimpse. Quick, quick Sorry, what was that, Mario? Take a quick look. Or something. Uh, yeah, let... A quick look, yeah, exactly. That's a, that's. I think that's probably the best um, short definition that you could you could use to describe it. Glimpse is like a a quick look, maybe a, a short look, a, not a short look, a quick look, um, something that you see for a second. You get a glimpse of it. Um, so let's say you're, I don't know, you're you're at a um, a parade or something, and there are a lot of people. And you're there's crowd and you're in the back, and you see I don't know the the mayor of the city go by or something, and you jump up and you see him for one second, and you could say oh I I caught a glimpse of of the mayor. So yeah, it's a, it's a quick look. Does that make sense? Look, hack. look. There we go. 
guys there? No. Okay, sorry, I'm not sure what happened. I think first I think I accidentally hit the refresh button, so my page started over. Okay. Um, but what I was saying about glimpse, I don't know if, if it cut out or if you guys heard me, but I said if let's say you're in a parade, there's a parade in your city, and there are a lot of people and there's a crowd, and so the parade is going through the middle of the street and you're behind the crowd and so you can't really see so you're trying to like jump up and see because the mayor is going to go by and the mayor goes by and you jump up and you mm. see him you catch a glimpse of him and then he he keeps going that's all you see you caught a glimpse glimpse mm -hmm. okay yeah glimpse uh huh okay so glimpse glimpse glim glimpse Glimpse. GK. You hey, like this. Yeah. Glimpse. Glimpse. Okay. Glimpse. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. So let me pull back up the article. All right. Okay. So let's get started. Who would like to read first? Anyone? Any volunteers? Me. All right. Sama. Yes. The, the discovery um, of a uh, one boy, um, one boy, eight million year, and um, um, old uh, uh, call of a human uh, ancestor, uh, bird. Um, uh, Bird under uh, a midfell geo uh, uh, Gregorian uh, village provides uh, a vivid uh, uh, a vivid picture of uh, uh, of early evaluation and uh, indicates. Our family tree. Many have uh, fewer uh, branches than some. Uh, than some believe. Uh, scientists say. All right. Thank you. Now, were there any words that you guys heard that maybe she could improve her pronunciation of that we can help her out? Yes, uh, there is a word. Uh, um, ancestor. Yep. So let's yeah. So let's pronounce that word together right here. Ancestor. Ancestor. That's good. Uh huh. And then this word. Buried, buried. Ba I said buried. Yeah, buried. I pronounce it like buried. You could also say buried. Um, I think it just depends. Buried. Yeah, buried sounds. So yes, I think that I tend to say buried. Buried. Um, what else? Vivid. How about the word vivid? Right. Uh -huh. Vivid. 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 Good. Vivid. What do you mean, uh, like vivid? Uh, what does it mean? What does the word vivid mean? Uh, does anybody know the answer to that question? Does anybody know how to define it? Mm. Or any ideas? It's difficult to define like this. Uh, Vivid picture could be a an expression to uh, talk about um, a kind of uh, uh, interesting thing. Uh, exactly. 
Yeah, it's vivid means it's full of details. Hmm. So if somebody, if you say, if for example, some, if somebody said, "Hey, how was that parade that you went to?" and you say, "Oh, it was fun. I saw the mayor." That is not a vivid answer because it's it's two sentences. It doesn't have a lot of details. You can explain a lot of things. So that would be hmm. something that's not vivid. Vivid would be, oh, the parade was awesome. There were lots of people. There were probably over a thousand people. The mayor drove by in a Lamborghini. Um, there, there were lots of vendors selling food like hot dogs and hamburgers and candy and cotton candy. And we were there for four hours. So that would be a vivid description because it's full of details. We would say uh, bright uh, or shine. Mm, no. Not, not exactly. Not yeah, Mar Mario. What would you say the difference is between vivid and, and bright or shiny? No, bright. It's something. It's it's it's, uh, it's uh, about. Uh, it could be uh, something very shiny, for example. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, vivid, uh, this is a kind of. Uh, uh, it could be you have, of course, you have to analyze the context, but it could be a, an expressive uh, um, word to way to describe something, some something very expressive. Exactly. You, you, with vivid, it's it's more. You're expressing the details. You're being expressive. You're explaining with details. You're kind of painting a picture. It's it's vivid. It's you can imagine it, for example, or or you could you understand. You feel like you were there. It's vivid. Whereas okay. bright or shiny. Oh, you, you got the difference. Okay, I I I understand. I uh, I understand. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, okay, and then as for pronunciation, how about the word evolution? Evolution. 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 Here, wait. Here, one more time. Evolution. 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 Good, good, good. Evolution. Uh, I think that was it. Good job, Sama. Does anybody else, or does anybody have any questions? No, no question. Okay. All right. Um, Mario, would you like to read next? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the fossil is the most complete pre-human skull uncovered, with other partial remains previously found at the rural site. It gives researchers the earliest evidence of human ancestors moving out of Africa and spreading north to the rest of the world. According to a study published Thursday in the Journal uh, Science. All right, thank you. Good job. Were there any words that we could help him improve his pronunciation on? Or any ideas? Last Last what do you mean? Lost? Uh, lost everyone. The diversity uh, lost everyone of the uh, two continents. Lost Lost earliest. Earliest? Uh, oh, sorry. earliest. Earliest. Okay. No, earliest. No, sorry. <laughs> um, I asked uh, for a word uh, uh, 
wrong paragraph. Oh. Ah, okay. No, no, that's okay. Oh, were you talking about the next paragraph? Sorry. I made a mistake. Oh, no, that's okay. Okay, okay. Um, okay, let's think. How about the word fossil? So let's let's repeat that one together. Fossil. 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 Yeah, uh -huh. just like that. Fossil. Um, huh. Mario, were there were there any words that you were unsure about? Um. Fossil. Fossil. Joe. Yep. Fossil. Fossil. Yeah, Fossil. 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 Ah, fossil. Good. Yeah. Yeah, any words that you weren't sure about, Mario? Or? No, oh, it's okay. Um, no, no, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The only, there's a, one little other thing that um, you can put on. It's the stressed syllable in this word, researchers. Research. So the stressed syllable is in the... First syllable, so it's researchers. 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 Good. So you want to make sure to stress the first syllable in that word. Okay. Instead of saying researchers, you want to say researchers. 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 Good. Re researchers. Researchers. Good. Yeah, that's a um, difficult word. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> how do you say that fo fo fossil or fossil? Fossil. Fossil. No, fossil. 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 Uh, okay. A, fossil. 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 It's fossil. almost like a U. Fossil. Fossil. Fossil, okay. Um, Good. Good question. Any words that you guys would like me to, to define or to repronounce? Journal, nope. is that correct? Right. Which word? Journal. 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 Ah, okay. Journal. 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 Okay. Good. This is the, the same Journal. as French. It's a French word. Ah, it's a French word. How do you pronounce it in French? Journal. <laughs> journal. journal. Okay, journal. It's, like, journal. it's like this. Yes. Okay. Uh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Um, okay. So let's move on to the next paragraph. Okay. All right. Uh, I, the skull and other remains uh, offer a glimpse of uh, population of the of prehumans of uh, various size living at the same time, something that sci scientists had not seen before, uh, such a, an ancient area. This diverse bolsters uh, one uh, one of two competing competing theories th theories about the way our early and ancestors evolved, spri uh, sp spreading out out more like a, a tree than a bu bush. Can you hear me? Yep. Good. Thank you. Okay. So, were there any words that you guys heard that she could improve on? Or, or we could help her improve her pronunciation on? School? Uh, Joe, school? Skull. Skull. Glimpse. Yeah, skull. Glimpse. 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 Uh, so it's not, it sounds like you're saying glimpse with a C, but it's glimpse, like. Glimpse. G. Glimpse. Glimpse. Okay. There you go. Glimpse. Glimpse. Uh, Glimpse. Um, Un ancient. Un 
Ancient. Such a, an, there you go, just like Mario said. Ancient. 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 Yeah. There you go, ancient. Ancient. Perfect. Um, any other words? How about the word era? Aria, uh, plot. Plot? Same plot? So right Aria. here. Era. 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 Ancient era. era. Time or the uh, period of time? What was, what was that, Sima? A period, she said. Oh, oh, yes, exactly. You're time. exactly right. A period of time. Period. Era is a period of time. Uh -huh. Period of time. I think the other word, how about diversity? Epoch. Epoch? Epoch. Duarte. Where is that? Duarte. Diversity. Diversity. Good. Diversity. 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 Uh, there you go, diversity. diversity. Bolsters. 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 No, so, no, I pronounced that wrong. No, wait, bolsters. Bolsters, yeah, bolsters. Bolsters. Good. Bolsters, uh huh. What does it mean, uh, most, uh, um, bolster? bolster? This yeah. diversity bolster, I think it means, um, bolster, so this diversity bolster is one of the two competing theories. Bolster is like, it's not to brag, let me, um, look it up on dictionary.com so that I can, kind of break it down for you because I understand what it means in context but to define it is a little bit more complicated so let's see bolster kind of like to to tell to bolster to let's see let's see what dictionary.com says and then I can give you a better definition bolster okay Let's see what dictionary.com has to say. <laughs> Bolster. Uh, so here we go. If we look down here, it says verb. To support with or as with a pillow or cushion. Oh, to okay. add to support. So to up, also to uphold. Um, he, bolstered his, he bolstered up his claim with new evidence. He bolstered up his idea with new evidence. So in this sentence, this diversity bolsters one of the two competing theories about the way our early ancestors evolved. Support. So it's exactly support would be the support. the best synonym to use here. Uh -huh. uh, any other questions? No. Okay. Evolved, evolved, ah. evolved, 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 yeah, so let's pronounce that together, evolved, 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 so notice the difference between the pronunciation and the words evolution, evolution, yeah, and evolved, hmm, yeah, evolved, because, because evolved is the past participle of evolve, the verb to evolve, to transform, to basically to get better, I guess you would say, to, to grow. Mm -hmm. And evolution is the, the noun. Evolved. Evolved and evolution. Evolution, huh? yes, yes. Evolved. Good. All right, let's move on to the next paragraph. I think Sama, you're up next. If you'd like to read, 
nearly um, all of the previous uh, three human dis uh, discoveries have been uh, fragmented points um, scattered over time and locations like a uh, um, smattering of uh, random uh, twists um, of our um, uh, evolutionary uh, evolutionary and uh, history the um, the findings at uh, Manistee are more um, complete, weaving uh, more of a short story. Um, before the site was found, um, the movement uh, um, uh, from Africa uh, was uh, Bought at um, about one million and um, one million years ago. Good, thank you. Okay, so what were some words that you guys heard that maybe she could improve on? Scott, Scott, Scott. Yeah, so that's a typical word. So it's Scattered. pronounced like this. Scattered. 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 Fragmented. What does it what, mean? What does it mean? Scattered Fragment. means. No. Does yes. anybody have any ideas? Um, scattered. That means. Uh, so scattered. Not organized. Break up it. Give me say. Break up it. Not organized. Yeah, not organized. Yeah, exactly. Not organized, maybe spread out. Um, like, for example, when I think of the word scattered, I think of a desk with a bunch of papers spread out, unorganized. They're scattered across the desk. So, yeah, scattered, not organized, or unorganized. Yeah, uh, and spread out. Um, uh, being, uh, been fragmented. Um, been fragmented. Okay. Um, nearly all of the previous human discoveries have been fragmented. Fragmented bones. Um, so f the word fragment is like a piece. So mm -hmm. a fragment to piece. So fragmented bones, um, like pieces of bones. Okay. Fragmented bones. So they've been fine. What was, what was that, Murray? No, I say it wasn't uh, all the, uh, the bones that have been found uh, until now. Was, uh, exactly. It's fragmented. Except this one, it's a uh, whole one, the entire one. Exactly. An entire, an entire bone, or in this case, a skull which is a bone. Um, so yeah, so fragmented, think of it like pieces, fragments, pieces. Um, yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, like, uh, like smatter, what does it mean, smatter? Sm smattering? I understand yes. it because of the context, but to define it, uh, I'm going to have to look it up. Smattered. Okay. 
I'm thinking it's like smattered, kind of like scattered. <laughs> but let's double check. Smatter. Let's see what dictionary.com says. Um, I think it's uh, about something like a few of some of. To dabble in slight or superficial knowledge. So, um, so it says, uh, there it is, like a smattering of random tweets. Like, yeah, like a smattering of superficial knowledge to dabble in. Kind of like, yeah, something. Um, this is tricky. Like simple, yes, tricky. Uh, like uh, not deep. Uh, not uh, deep. Uh, the surface. Okay, so it's kind of like superficial. Kind of like not. It's, it's it's only it gives you like an idea, like a smattering mm -hmm. of random tweets. So basically, what this sentence reads, let me, let me read it. Nearly all of the previous pre-human discoveries have been fragmented bones scattered over time and locations, like a smattering of random tweets of our evolutionary history. So it's saying, like, before we only had a superficial knowledge, we only had, we only had superficial knowledge, we only had a little bit of information. We, we only could dabble into our ancestors and um, pre-humans. Um, so a smattering of random tweets, kind of like... Um, so we don't, we don't have a wide... Uh, um, little tidbits, little, little bits wide. of information. Yes, information. Yeah, like we didn't... So, we had, we yeah, had so ideas, we, we, we had we small so bits and pieces. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't know very much before because all we had were these fragmented bones, and they were scattered over time and locations. So we only had an idea. We only had a, a smattering of, of random ideas of of, of random blobs, blobs um, from our evolutionary history. Random, random pieces of information. It was really superficial. Yeah. So, yeah. Does, does that... Now, do you understand? Do you have a, a better understanding of what that word means, kind of? Not clear to each other. I it's understand the... it. Oh, you, you yeah. understand it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Uh, you're, uh, any other questions? No. no. Okay. Uh, oh, I mean, and then the word evolutionary, which we've already pronounced together. Um, okay, so I think that's it for that paragraph. So let's move on. Make your next, Mario. Um, what what is uh, the meaning of weaving? Weaving more. Weaving. Weaving. Good question. So the findings at Mon Monacy are more complete, weaving more of a short story. Weaving. So when you weave, um, weaving is like it's kind of like sewing. So you're you're like, weaving. You're okay. putting like for clothes. Like when you you sew, so weaving is like like weaving them together, like connecting them. Okay. Like sewing. Um, like uh, sewing. Sewing. Yeah, like like sewing, like, like you would sew okay. maybe a hat. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. So now we can move on to the next paragraph. Uh, I think you're next, Mario, if you'd like to read. Okay. Um, when when examined with the earlier Georgian finds. The scroll shows that this special immigration of, out of Africa happened much earlier, 
than we thought, and a much more primitive group did it, said a study lead author, David Lord Kilini Panit, director of the Georgia National Museum. This is, an, this is important to understanding human evolution. Good. All right. Were there any words that you guys heard that he could improve on, if any? School. School. Yep, there's that School. word again. School. 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 Good. School. 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 Hmm. Any yeah. other question? Hmm. Uh, Immigration. 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 Yeah. Well, what was that, Sama? Georgian. Yeah. Georgian. I'm gonna double check on the pronunciation because I just want to make sure that we uh, pronounce it correctly. George. I think I spelled that wrong. Georgian. So give me one sec. Okay, let's see. So the pronunciation is like this. Uh, let's see. Georgian. 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 Yep, yeah, good. Georgian. All of you pronounce it correctly. Georgian. The earlier Georgian finds. Uh huh. Georgian. Georgian. Good. Um, I think that's it. Uh, good job, Mario. Thank you. All right. The next paragraph. Uh, I forgot who. Who? Uh, Who's next? For. Yeah. Am I read? I think so. Yeah. For years, some scientists have, have said, uh, said human, humans evolved from only uh, one, one or two space, much like a tree branch out from a trunk, while others say the, the process was more like a, a bush with uh, several of shoots that, that went nowhere. All right, thank you. So, were there any words that you guys heard that she could improve on? Yeah. All right. Scientist. Scientist. Good. Yes, yeah. scientists. Scientists. Uh, okay. So let's pronounce that word together. Scientists. 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 Uh, and then how about the word humans? Humans. 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 Did Nure, where did Nure go? Maybe she's having some issues. Okay. Humans. Good. Um, other than that, um, one thing I want to point out. Where was it? With the word with, the th with. is a yes. difficult sound to, I, to I, make. I, yeah, I know that with. Because yeah. I don't. Yeah, most other languages don't have it. I think. Um, but just to rem let's let's practice that um, one time together. So uh, it sounded like you guys said it perfectly, but it always helps to practice. So you want to make sure that your tongue is in between your teeth, like this, with, like that. So when you when you're you're done pronouncing the word, your tongue should be in between your teeth, with, with, 
with. Good. Okay, it sounds like you guys both have it down. So good. Mm -hmm. So you have you have the two TA sound, the, the voiced and the voiceless. Voiced and un voiced and vo un yeah, voiced and voiceless, uh -huh. or unvoiced. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, um, uh, tree. No. Three. This is three. Three. Voice. There we go. Three. 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 And the uh, mother, 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 mother. This one is. So here, let me. Oh no, my verbling chat disappeared. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um. So here, I'm gonna write mother. Uh, a different way so that you, it'll help you guys pronounce it. So it's a mother. So it's spelled M O T H E R. But when you're pronouncing it, it sounds like it, it ends in U R because it's mother. Mother. But you want to make sure that you pronounce the T H and you don't say mother because a lot of people do that. They turn the T H to a D. Um, but here, let me write it. Ma, ma, mother, like that. Mother. So if you see it, I just wrote it in the verb link chat. Mother. Mother. Uh huh. Good. Um, are there any other sounds that you guys are unsure about or you have difficulties with? No. No. Mario, any for you? Um, no, no. It's okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Um,. So let's go ahead and finish this article. Not sure where New Day went, um, but we have 13 minutes left. Just a reminder, so we'll finish this article, and I think we will. Um, okay, so I think Sama, you're up next. Yeah. And we're right here. Even Bush favoring scientists. Even uh, um, Bush favoring uh, um, uh, scientists say uh, this finding shows uh, one uh, single uh, species, uh, single species, uh, nearly uh, two million years ago uh, at the former uh, Soviet Soviet uh, Republic site uh, but the disagree that the same uh, conclusion can be said uh, for uh, bones found uh, Elsewhere, such as the uh, Africa, uh, Africa. However, uh, Lord uh, Lord Kibanzi, Lord Kibanzi, uh, and uh, colleague point out that the skulls found in, in Georgia are different uh, sizes but are considered to be the same uh, species. Uh, so they, the reason it's uh, likely the various uh, skulls found in uh, in different places and uh, times, um, times, um, in Africa, um, may not be the different uh, species, uh, but variation uh, in one uh, species. 
Good. All right, thank you. Okay. So, were there any words that you guys heard that she could improve her pronunciation on? Um, yeah, she can improve uh, they, they, for example. They. Good, yep, it's got the th. Yeah. They. Uh, bones. Bones. Uh -huh. Bones. Good. Bones. Good bones. Uh, Colegus. Cole yeah. Colleagues. Uh, Colleagues. That is a difficult word. So here, Colleagues. let's pronounce it together. Colleagues. 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 So, ca and leagues. Colleagues. 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 So, Nere, it sounds like you're saying leaks, like a K, Colleagues. but it's a G, which so it's leagues. Colleagues. 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 E A S E. But it's, yeah, so it's. Colleagues. Colleagues. Hmm. Colleagues. Okay. Colleagues. Okay. Wait. Now it sounds <laughs> like you're saying it in Portuguese. <laughs> Col. Col <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry. Right, here. Wait. Let me. <laughs> Colleagues. <laughs> okay. So. So here, let's let's break it down. So. Um, there's a word that is exists in English, which is league, like baseball league. 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 So league. here, watch my mouth when I pronounce this word. League. League. There you no. go. League. League. It's, it league. sounds like you're saying league. 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 Yeah. League. 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 Ah, Good. okay. Leak. No, 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 leak. no. Sorry. No. The no. leak is bad. Don't say the leak. You want to say leak. G. G. Leak. Leak. There you go. G. G. Leak. My letter have a g. G. My letter g. Yeah. G. G. Oh, you don't. You don't yeah. have the g. Yeah, g. G. Ah, yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, My so letter have g. G. Oh, in Turkish you don't have yeah, a good. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So yeah. So we have league. 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 There you go. Okay. And then league. we have the word. So if we put it together. <laughs> we have colleagues. Colleague. Colleagues. Colleague. Colleagues. 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 Oh. Uh. Yeah, okay. Okay. I have okay, that pronunciation. Pronunciation. No. <laughs> it, it's Call difficult. It. It's difficult. It's difficult. And you don't have it in your native language, so it's uh, like the for me the the double R in Spanish. I can't pronounce it. R, r. It's difficult. You just got. We we both have to practice. You just got to practice. <laughs> okay. Um. Call, uh. Were there any other words? Yes, I heard yeah. uh, species. Species. Yeah. Species. So some people say species, and some people say species. 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 I think species. they're both. I think they're both oh. correct. Okay. I think species. I'm gonna double check though for you because I want to make sure. Because um, I've I've heard both, so I know in spoken English, I think both are accepted. Mm. Um, like species. informal Gretchen. species. Oh, there. Okay, so I have it Gretchen. in the dictionary right here, and it says that both of them are correct. So you can say species, like a sh, an sh. Species. 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 Or you can say species. I say species, species, but both of them are correct. So whichever you're more comfortable with, you can say. Because I don't think it it matters. I don't think it varies between dialect. I think. You can say species or species. 
Which is Greek uh, Greek letters? Greek Greek letters? Uh, Greek, um, maybe it, it says the origin is Latin. Um, but yeah, so species or species. Uh -huh. um, any other words that we should pronounce together? Conclusion. Con Conclusion. Oh, yes. Yep. That word, yes. Conclusion. So, okay. Conclusion. No, oh, okay. So the, <laughs> the, so the middle part. Conclusion. 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 Like this. Conclusion. 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 Okay. Let me write it one more time. A different conclusion. Maybe this. Maybe that way is better. Conclusion. 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 Sean or uh, John? Uh, wait, okay, wait. Conclusion. Yes, conclusion like that. Or, uh, conclusion. Yeah. Conclusion. 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 Sha. 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 Uh -huh. Conclusion. 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 Uh -huh. <laughs> one, one tool to help you guys. So, whenever I don't know how to pronounce a word, I use, um, here I'm going to show you on my screen, uh, dictionary.com because they have a pronunciation guide as well. So for example, you type in a word up here, um, so it's dictionary, you just type in dictionary.com and it will bring you to this, but um, dictionary.com is the name and, and then you type in a word and right here you can listen to the pronunciation. Hmm. So when, when I click on it, you can hear it, um, but you guys can't hear it because it's, it's only being through my headphones, but it really helps. And also, if you look at this while you're listening to the pronunciation, then it helps especially because you can uh, see it. Species. Okay. Species. Okay. Species. 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 So here, I'll, I'll post a link to it. Um, so you guys have it, dictionary.com. Um, and okay. also, um, so part of dictionary.com is thesaurus.com. Um, so, I mean, you could use a, a thesaurus if you're trying to learn a new word and you don't understand the definition. You could type it in on thesaurus.com and it'll show you synonyms. And then you can say, oh, that word also means the same as this word. So um, that, that can help you learn the words better. That's what I try and do sometimes, especially with verbs. When I'm trying to learn new, new verbs in a language. Um, but yeah, the pronunciation helps a lot. Um, I think they also have sentence examples. They should have sentence examples or examples of the word being used in a sentence. I think if you scroll down, um, yeah, they also have idioms and phrases. Um, so yeah, just I would check out dictionary.com because it's got a lot of great resources. Um, I mean, if you, if you just look at the page here, I'll show you one more time. Um, you've got synonyms. So right here we have example sentences. Marrying science and art, he has created a variety of species of beasts. Um, related words which is good, idioms and phrases, matching quote, yes. and then if we start from the left, related searches, nearby words, synonyms, relevant questions, um, and you have all, I mean, dictionary.com has tons of information, mm. and yeah, while sometimes the definitions are confusing, um, like I said, you can look up synonyms or another great dictionary that I like to use sometimes. It's called yourdictionary.com. 
And I feel as though these definitions on your dictionary.com are simpler, and they might be easier for you guys to understand, um, since you guys are learning English as a second language or third language. So also check out your dictionary. Yeah. Um, and I don't know. Okay, maybe it's not working at this moment, or it's not loading, but um, take a note of that website and check it out as well, because it has synonyms. It also has great examples, um, which for me, examples always help because I can see the word in the context and it helps me learn it better. Um, but that's it. Um, looks like class is over. Thank you guys for coming. Uh, if yeah. you have any questions. Um, thank you for lesson, you. for the lesson. Thank, thank you. you guys see for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you again. See you next time. Have a great day. Bye. See you guys. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you later. <laughs>